Oh, it's really big. I just felt it touch my line. It is huge. Yes. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. I went to go get pizzas. And what does Wesley do? What does that look like? He's shuffling. He decided to try and turn around in this parking lot and he's in a bank. So this is the start of our fishing trip. But the good thing is we got pizza. We got a shovel and we're gonna get out of here. Yay, we can go fishing now. That only took about 20 minutes. Guys, we got to the lake. We are safe. We are gonna sleep in the truck. And then we are gonna get up in the morning and find a spot to go fishing. Sleeping bag smells like fish. You can't even see your face in the video. I'm not Maybe even, that's a good thing. I'm not even here. <laughs> well, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, peeps. We had an amazing sleep in the truck. We are packing up and we're getting out. It is 7.30. Guys, today I am running 50-inch run and gun medium. Just got it on 15 pound braid, 15 pound floral. And if you could see over there, I have a jigging jaw jacker set up. I'm gonna have all these clips and no fish. I had one chase me there, dropping back down to bottom. I'm marking two or three fish there. Tap bottom. Yeah. And then just reel up. See if they chase. There he is! On! Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Got two big marks coming in on the right. See what they do here. Hooked up, top and bottom. I marked a fish come in. Wait till I get to my mono. Oh, there he is right there on the screen. Looks like a burbot. It's a big burb. Got the frostbite running gun. 15 pound braid. I have a Shimano Twin Power Reel 2500. Big fish. That was, oh yeah, big burbot. Big burbot. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Betcha that goes 10 12, hey? Big burb. Let's see how long she goes, or he or she. Get ready. Yeah, 35 and a half. Big fish. 35 and a half inch burb. These guys are hard to hard to handle, but get this fish back. Give him a little push. Gone! Chases, come on. Oh yeah, those are definitely Lakers. On? It was cork. Okay, I got a fish here though. All over me. Jaw Jagger just went off. It was on there, hey? Yeah, I looked over in the rod was cork. Keep you here. Uh, I am 51 feet of water. 
Oh, so we're still deep. What do you think? It feels just dead weight, but uh, it's made a few big runs, which is kind of odd. Yeah, I had another one come in and it uh, tapped me. They're kind of the budgies fish. Yeah, big burb. So, first big one of the day. Yeah, this might get you on the board. Are you uh, holes cleaned out? We get to see the fish or no? Yeah, my hole's not cleaned out. I'll give you a hand here. Sure. Big Laker. Is it? Big Laker, yeah. Huge Laker. That fish. Oh, hook is gone. Getting this 30 inch Laker home here. Guys, uh, so Wesley was tapping bottom there. He didn't even mark the fish. I guess there was a big ball of Cisco's there. And uh, yeah, just tap, 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 tap. Just like I'm doing right now. Yeah, just touching bottom. Just like this. If you mark a fish sometimes and they're not biting, you could reel up slowly and see if they chase it up. Right after I was talking about top and bottom there. Oh, nice fish. Heavy. Clean this hole out a bit. Oh boy. That rod is corked. Fish is right back down to bottom. What do we got? What do we got? Burb. Another giant burb. I guess I'm on the burbot spot. Whoa. Big old burb. Guys, this fish hit me. I was just tapping bottom and I missed it. Dropped back down and smashed me again. Whoa. What a run this fish did. Hit me twice. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. On, woo. This is why we fish for big lakers. This is a huge laker. Huge laker. This 50 inch running gun from frostbite is taking a beating. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> Look at my rod. It is corked. I am on a giant fish. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Just a tank. I think I need a heavier rod. Take your time, Sean. Here he comes. Oh, oh! 35 inch Laker. Not my personal best for weight, but length, that's a big fish. Guys, you gotta get these fish back. You gotta keep his tail in the water there. Gone! Woo! Yeah, guys, that fish, 35 inch. I bet you that fish is 20, 25 years old. You keep those fish on smaller lakes and Fishery's not going to last, so you make sure you take good care of them, get them back as fast as you can, and do the best you can for pictures, but get that fish back. Guys, let me tell you how nice this is out here. Minus seven, and I am fishing outside. It is not minus 40, like it has been for three weeks. Like we three are weeks. having a fire tonight. Wesley had a bite. He caught an eyeball. We don't know what kind of eyeball it was. We should have videotaped it, but whatever. And I had a bite. We're going to spend the night out here and see if we can catch some burbot tonight and wake up for the morning bite. And then I think we're going to be taking off. So let's see what happens through the night, I guess. Got a nice warm fire. Oh, goodness. Chilling at the fire, catching fish. 
is this? Oh, it's a Laker. No, it's a bourbon. Small burb. Small burb. I was just going to check my uh, other line. And Wesley has a fish on. What do you think? Uh, not huge. But nice. Burb? Yeah, another burbot. Good. Keep that one, hey? Guys, I cleaned my burbot. It's right there. And I am cooking it up down over there. It'd be yummy. What did you just, you got two burbot over there? I got two burbot over there. I've caught in the last about five minutes and I'm hooked up on something big here. Here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Just absolutely annihilated my jig. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, I got the measuring board here. I can hardly even lift them. Yeah. Hook uh, is out. Yeah, that's a big one. That's gonna go 36. Almost 37, I think. Eh? Yeah, probably get 36 and a half out of that fish. Yeah, 36, at least. Big fat fish. I bet you that fish goes 17, 16 pounds, eh? Hey. Get this big girl sent home here. It's a 10 inch hole. Good job, buddy. Ooh, my hands are cold. I can't even bend them shut. <laughs> we are recording. I am fishing now. Wesley just let that monster burbot go. 36 and a half inch. We got the fire. We have night bite starting. We might not even be able to sleep tonight. Not big? Well, it counts down how much footage I have left. Still got 40 minutes of videotaping. And it's a... Bullet! Man, just slamming them. That one's fat too, eh? Just a... Uh, You're catching them and I'm eating them. Just a bulk jig from the fishing hole. I think it's a... 70 cent jig head here. Yeah, just oh. there's something on bottom. Just We're able to eat it. I'll yeah. get this one back. I got a fish. Guys, we got a double header. Oh, mine's like five, five pounds. <sighs> Wesley's fighting one right now. Probably freeze up issues, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got a nice one. I know I do. Here, here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a big old one. Big old burb. There we go. You got it? Yeah. I'm just gonna let this one go right now. Bye bye little guy. Oh yeah, you got a nice old one, eh? Look at that head on that thing. Cool fish. Bye bye little guy. That's a big fish. Oh yeah. 35. Yeah, 34 and a half, 35. Nice old fish. Oh, <laughs> double up herbs. We just moved the shack. We're gonna sleep on this spot we're hammering these burbot. I got a pretty big one on. Fire right here, things are good, you guys catching monster fish. Oh yeah, that's a big one I think coming up. Oh wow yeah. This is a big one. What time is it? It's like 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. Big fat barbat! Wow! We're gonna get some nighttime pictures with this fish and then get them back. That's a heavy fish, you guys. Put this fish back, 10 inch hole. 
Big blob. Bye bye. Oh yeah. This fish just wants to be on bottom, eh? Yeah, mine. Mine. Uh, I set the hook and it just went right back down. This is a heavy, heavy fish. Big fish. Good bulldog in me. Yeah. Here he comes. I had another big burb. Big fish. Blowing bubbles, sorry buddy. Not as... Uh, oh, no, I think he's big. He's yeah, just yeah. rolled up funny. Yeah. You want to keep that one? Yeah, I'll keep that one for yeah, Zang Su. Not too big. Good job, buddy. Guys, I'm laying down. We are going to bed. It's 7.30. What you doing over there, Wesley? Oh, just eating my burger and oh. drink some water and go to bed. You got your fancy pillow? Paw Patrol's with us, keeping us safe. Guys, we are uh, seven in the morning, just started bouncing bottom. Wesley's complaining about a rock in his hole. And I started jigging and instantly catch a fish here. Had a great sleep. And guess what I got? A backwards burbot. Nice wake up. Get him right back. Bye bye. That yeah. works. This could be a Laker. Wesley got hit twice, and I was just bugging him. Saying, wouldn't you be pissed if I hooked a fish right now and you missed yours? But that's fishing. This fish bit and literally couldn't bring it off bottom. So oh, I'm feeling like it's a nice, decent fish. Oh, yeah, it's a big bird. A huge bird. Is. It's in my line here. Look at the belly on that thing. Just a freaking tank. Guys, here's my fat burbot. First thing in the morning, just after that four pounder. Oh no, don't get your hand turned in the hole, fishy. Just come and be my friend. I'm just using a uh, hashtag fishing hole, a bullet head jig, rubber body, something with movement heavy. And this is the results. How does my hair look? That is a nice fish. We've got two beautiful faces. Morning workout. Uh, uh. Bird heading home. Grease. Yeah, it's big. Oh, it's really big. I can, I just felt it, touch my line. it is huge. It, what time is it? 7.50, I think. Wesley just caught that big burbot. Oh, this is a giant burbot. Running 15 pound Power Pro. I have 15 pound floral eater oh there it is look out right now what a freaking monster oh yeah that's a big burbot 
a little bit bloated. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna give you the video camera and just eight point it at me and just don't do anything. Big burbot, this one's bloated right here, guys. We're just not even gonna take a picture of this fish. We're gonna let it go. You let the big ones go, get them back quick. There he goes. On. On? I just had a bump. I just, just released a burbot about probably 15 seconds ago. I dropped down. As soon as I dropped down, I'm like, Ooh. Hello. Squishy. Hello. I gotta watch my coffee here. I don't spill it. This is a big, big burbot. It's a big fish. Clean the slush out of my hole, please, Sherpa. So the goal here is for Wesley not even to get out of his chair. And Sean is gonna land and unhook. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Land and unhook my fish <laughs> and then adjust my jig and get me fishing again. Feel like you're being optimistic there. Sherpa, I will leave you behind, Sherpa. Mr. Squishy? Oh, that's a nice one. We'll edit all this out because in video, every fish is easy to unhook. Oh boy. I'll help you out here. Oh boy, this got dark. I can hit 37. Oh wow, yeah, that's a big one. We got the measuring board out. 36, 37. It's Mr. Squishy workout plan. One, two, three. Bye, Mr. Squishy. Guys waking up to this and smashing big burbot. Absolutely awesome. Big fish. Marked it right, marked it 10 feet down. And this thing hit me right when I brought up. Oh boy. I had a glimpse of it there. Not a happy fish. I don't even know if it knows it's hooked or not. Watch my coffee. Literally just dropped the sonar down for the morning. And I literally just marked that fish right underneath the ice line. And I reeled up to it and it just smashed me instantly. Oh yeah, we can see bubbles now. This frostbite rod is a little bit underpowered. It's what I had, it's a medium 50 inch but it's doing the job. I recommend a medium heavy if you're doing lake trout. Getting close now. These lake trout are tough fish. You can really feel the tail wags on them. Should get a glimpse. Oh yeah, big lake trout. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Rolling. Oh, it's off. No. My hook got caught on the ice. Oh. Guys, you ever hear those stories where people are like walleye fishing and one guy's catching piles of fish and the other guy doesn't get a bite? 
Well, here's a little scenario for you. So Wesley was jigging in this hole here. And every time he hit the bottom, he could feel a rock and it would like do a double thunk. And it was about a foot of uh, foot high rock. And the burbot don't really like to smash their heads into the rock. So the, we drilled over here and there is no rock there. And uh, Wesley's been catching lots more fish. So just a little tip to learn if you don't think your hole is uh, catching, maybe punch a couple of feet over. Guys, we are ending the trip here. Had an awesome time. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.